Welcome to our Bible readings for 2022. In our reading, we are following an ancient pattern of Bible readings and reflection called Lectio Divina. First, we listen to the reading read by one of us. Then we prayerfully consider it as we reflect and meditate upon it. Then after listening to the reading again, we pray the Lord to lead us into the day ahead. Today we read John 10 verses 22 to 30. But first, we quieten ourselves. As I enter prayer now, I pause to be still. I breathe slowly. In Psalm 23 verses 1 to 3 we read, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. the reading from John 10 22. The heading for this reading is the unbelief of the Jews. Then came the feast of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple area walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews gathered round him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The miracles I do in my Father's name speak for me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Amen. A little meditation. The heading for today's reading is the unbelief of the Jews. Yet they it would seem were asking the right questions. The answer was staring them in the face, but they could not see it. A reminder of the recent chapter on the healing of the blind man. They lacked the spiritual insight to recognize the Messiah in Jesus. It was the same question the Jews asked of John the Baptist in, in John chapter 1 from verse 9. Now this was John's testimony when the Jews of Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask who he was. He did not fail to confess but confess freely, I am not the Christ. They asked him, then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. And in verse 22, he finally says, they, they say to him, who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. And now here we are nearly halfway through this gospel and they are still asking the same question, but to a different person. Jesus was very nearly through with his witness to the Jewish people, yet they still did not believe. Chapter 10 begins with the parable of the Good Shepherd, with Jesus saying he is the gate of the sheep and he is the Good Shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep, but they could not apply it to him. 
are themselves a sheep outside the true fold of God. This brought division among the listening Jews. Some of them were even saying he was Jesus was demon possessed and raving mad. While others looked back to the story of the man born blind who was healed by Jesus, and they wondered. Feeling the tension among themselves, they then came to their great question. Who are you? Don't keep us in suspense. Jesus' answer is not a direct, affirmative, but a rebuke with a subtle allusion. The miracle I do in my Father's name speak for me. That alone should have been enough. John only records seven miracles in his Gospel, and they should be more than enough for the hardest skeptic, but not enough for the spiritually blind. Their sight can only be healed by a miracle from God. John's Gospel explains the human side of the spirits seeking the lost sheep when he says in chapter 20 verse 30 and 31, Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. The Gospel itself is not about miracles, it is all about Jesus and who he is. Our message is seek him and you will find him. But if we only seek the signs, we could die in our sins and forfeit the salvation he offers. Then came the Feast of Dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus was in the temple area walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews gathered round him saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The miracles I do in my Father's name speak for me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. In a prayer, we come in the name of Jesus and ask for help that we will seek to give him the glory and the praise for all that he has done in our lives today and every day. Father, help me to walk before you this day, being true to you in every way. Jesus, help me to love you and to serve others this day, being kind to everyone I meet. Spirit, help me to love the lonely and the lost this day, proclaiming Christ in word and deed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.